The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured. And so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozalski. I'm an observer. Lazarski, you there? Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy hard. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. 
thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? I was so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's... can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad, for once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam, can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky. That's new. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, Tenant? Huh? Uh, what? No. Family. Family? <laughs> no. Tenant? Um, sort of. Last name, Lazarski. Mm. Not on the record. You're sure? Check again. Uh, tenant. Name? Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Mm -hmm. oh. Apartment 7. Uh, oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm, door open. Attention. 
Asian citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 656210 setting up a crime scene. I need to check the victim's compass for connections. Six million volts wasn't enough. was an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. damage or evidence disposal.
never cared about this stuff. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. This man was busted. The signal must have come from somewhere else. A hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later.
printed on real paper. Oh, it's archaic for you, Adam. Deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't.
KP Day, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Do you know who lives in apartment 7? 7? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything, I just need to know. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh good, it's just that it feels weird to just sit here, alone, with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Want. Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God! They're here! The cleaners are here! <laughs> KPD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well. Seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. <laughs> Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very... memorable. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of them. 
You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that.
to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... Never, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Hmm. Janet to let the door open. Selected. Need to get out. You again? Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh yeah. Back. During war, took one alive, sent for one of you to get into his head. If you're worried I'm gonna snap, don't be. They don't even let us carry guns anymore. <laughs> Not worried. Past worry. Bust. Most things. <laughs> you fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <sighs> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment seven? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the, the implants. Bad. The implants. 
Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. Take it, Rudy's the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I mm, need to track manually. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Name. Janice. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janice. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? Where can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean? Oh. You're immaculate. Children of the Immaculate Birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Our kind? Uh, no, but it must be hard. No one said life would be... 
Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable, but it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah. Okay. I don't wish to speak of sounds like yeah. Uh -huh. KPD? Anyone in there? Can you repeat that? The cop butt. What do you want? You notice there's been a lockdown. Lockdown? You got the fucking the fucking thing. I didn't quite catch that. Oh, God damn it. Fine. Just stay in your apartment. I can hear you out there. Help me, please. What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was... Scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Suit yourself. 
Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure. If you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell, it seemed uh, oddly familiar, reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes, my family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... Messed up. Then again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I'd inform the janitor, but, eh. He'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new.